Good morning. So welcome back or welcome to Yoga with Kira. This is day 26 of Ignite. And we know what we're going to do. We know what we're going to do. Well, I know what I'm going to do. <laughs> For uh, October, I'm going to show you that. Hold on two seconds. Um, there you go. It's going to be called Ground. And we're going to be practicing loads of wonderful standing and using the floor in different ways. And, and we're also going to be really deepening into how we resource, how we stabilize, how we balance ourselves in relationship to nature. Just and nature's everywhere. Um, so great. Uh, today we're going to be standing, we're going to be moving. I'll talk a little bit more about ground at the end. Um, so come lie on your mat. I don't want to do anything else. No, nothing else. Great. Come lie on your mat. Uh, no, actually, come into child's pose to start with. So coming into child's pose, your knees are bent and your arms are out long in front of you. Maybe your elbows are more bent and your head is resting in your hand. Maybe your belly and your thighs are in contact. Just see what you do. Just landing in. Just being here. And sometimes just the very fact that you turned up is the hardest part of your practice. So well done. You turned up. You're here. You're checking in. You're being present. So deepen your breath into your belly. And then you just widen into the full deep of your back. Allow your rib gauge to rise. Nice. Walk yourself over towards the right. You can bend your right elbow, bring it near your, uh, your right hand, near your knee, and reach long into the left arm. And now breathe into the left side of your body. And create length and connection. Nice. Other way. Over towards the left. You can bend your left elbow. Bring your left hand beside your left knee. And lean into the right hand. Settling, deepening, breathing into your shoulder. Nice. Come back to center. Come onto your hands and knees. Rounding your back and arching your back and as you move lean into the deep of your spine slow the movement down make the movement smoother yes. how do you move and connect and just feel the sensations of your body in this moment Nice. Side to side. Keep your head between your two arms so I'm not swinging my head backwards. My rib cage is squeezing in a coordination. So I'm squeezing my shoulder towards my knee, you know, squeezing my shoulder towards my hip <laughs> and the other shoulder towards my hip. I'm not looking back over my shoulder. I'm just exaggerating the movement of my rib cage. Nice. Draw a circle with your rib cage. And then circle in the other direction. Just feel that moving into the deep of your rib cage. Tuck your toes under, push back into a downward dog. And as you push back, get playful down into your legs, connecting a sense of flow, a sense of movement, bending one knee, draw the heel backwards, bending the other knee, draw your heel backwards. Just feeling into, sensing into the movement of your legs. Bend both knees, pull your hips back, straighten through both legs. Bend both knees, pull your hips back, straighten through both legs. Nice. Settling in, feel the strength of your arms, the length of your spine. Nice. Bring both knees to the floor, pause. 
Nice. So keeping your spine steady. So I'm going to bring my hands slightly closer, my knees slightly closer. And then like as if I have a teacup on my back, I'm going to move my right leg without moving my lower back. So how do I stabilize my torso, my shoulders, my ribs, my lower belly? And I'm just letting my leg swing like a pendulum. Knee comes in, leg goes back. In and back, nice. How do I do the same where I bring my knee out to the side, to the outside of my elbow, and then knee to the outside of my, or sweep around to the side of the thigh. So I'm kind of just swinging my knee out. It's not going very far because I'm keeping still in my spine. So I'm just trying to mobilize my right leg behind me. My knee is staying bent to the side. One more time. Side behind me. Nice. Other leg. Like a pendulum. Let the left leg move. But you're keeping still. So I'm not, I'm not letting my spine move like in a cat pose. I'm keeping a sense of stillness in my torso as I sweep my leg back. Back in. And let your breath stay deep and steady. You can feel the work happening in your breath. Nice. Now bring your knee out to the side and then just tuck it behind your thigh. And I'm trying to stay still in my spine. Just notice what happens. Super. We're going to do that same movement of knee up to your elbow, but we're going to let everything move. So lift your knee off the floor on the right side and then bring your knee to your elbow. Let everything squeeze on the right. And then bring your knee behind your other knee and let everything squeeze in that direction. So now I'm really letting everything move. So sometimes when we move, it's about stability. Sometimes when we move, it's about mobility. So how do you swing your knee up to your elbow and then swing your knee behind the other one? And I'm looking with my head in the direction my knee is traveling. One more time. Super. Change sides. Left side, knee comes up. And the knee goes behind. And I'm really squeezing and moving and softening into my rib cage. Stabilizing, mobilizing, lengthening, strengthening. No balancing. No one skill is more important. They're all important. Nice. One more time. Super. So from here, sweep your legs forward for a moment. Come sit on your bum, roll into your wrists, roll into your ankles. Lengthen through your spine. So keep trying to get taller and taller through your spine as you do these movements. And then in the other direction with your hands and feet. And feel that you're pushing deeply down into the floor with your sit bones, lengthening through your spine. Roll your shoulders. Stay really, really tall through the spine. So I'm not letting my spine roll with my shoulders. I'm keeping my shoulders still and then roll in the other direction. My head is staying still, more or less. So now we're going to let everything move with our shoulders. So as you round your shoulders forward, round your back. And as you pull your shoulders back, arch your back. Round arch. So as my shoulders move forward in the circle, I round my back. And as my shoulders pull back, I arch my back. It should feel really different than the last movement we did. And then the other direction is as shoulder moves back, arch your back. As shoulders move forward, round your back. Arch. So it's like the biggest circle that you can make with your shoulders because your spine is helping you. So start to feel like your shoulders are moving in such a big circle and your body's helping that happen. Nice. Now come back to the very first movement. Your spine stays still, your head stays still. Roll your shoulders. 
Feel how it's a really different movement. Oh, and then roll in the other direction. Nice, twist towards the left. Bring your right hand to the outside of your knee, lengthen through your spine. Breathe into your belly. And then in the other direction, lengthen through your spine, breathe into your belly. Really feeling the length and strength of your spine, of your torso, of your shoulders. Nice. And then just bend your knees. If you feel like you're really tight in your hamstrings, maybe we'll start with our knees bent. So bend your knees, round yourself forward, drop your head forward. Breathe into the back of your body. So as you breathe into the back of your ribs, in the back of your shoulders, space between your shoulder blades. If this feels tight enough or strong enough or that this is enough for you, then stay here. Otherwise, lengthen your legs out long and come into a deeper forward bend. And as you do that, just wiggle a bit from side to side, engage into your legs. Have a sense of reaching, moving, connecting. Rocking your bum from side to side. Move. Nice. Come sit all the way up. Come into your downward dog. Coming all the way around. And push back, downward dog. And just have a sense of length and fun down into your legs again. Now it's, a, it's also a forward bend, this. But we're much softer into the spine. Much easier into the legs. Cool. Drop your knees to the floor. And the movement we're going to do is you're going to bring your feet off your mat. So my knees stay where they are. And my feet come wide. <laughs> That's so funny. Quit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bring your feet off the mat. And then keep your right foot where it is and stretch the left leg long and bring your left right hand, oh, left hand to your left hip. Okay, so now I'm sideways and my right foot is behind me. Okay. Bring, bring your fingers to the front of the left shoulder and reach your left hand up towards the ceiling. Breathing into your belly, stretch long into that left leg. Maybe lift your left foot off the floor. Really lengthen down into your heel, connect into your arms and the top hand. I almost feel like it's going to reach so much that I'm going to lift off the floor with it. I'm going to like rise. Not really, but that sense of whew, up through that top hand. It has a sense of engagement about it. Nice. Coming down. Other side. Bring both feet off your mat again. Bring your right leg long. Right hand to your right hip. Bring your fingers to the front of the right shoulder. Dial in your twist by really opening and lengthening your elbow upwards. And then reach your hand upwards. Connect through both arms, reaching wide. Stay here or lift your right foot off the floor. And feel like you're reaching so deeply up into the right, fin right fingers that you could almost lift your left hand off the floor. There's a sense of like, how would I rise? <laughs> and just feeling that through the body, reaching deeply through both arms, both legs. Nice, coming all the way down. Push back, downward dog. Lengthen through both legs. Have a bit of a wiggle. Nice. So bring both knees to the floor. Step your right foot forward between your two hands. Tuck your back toe under. Lengthen your back leg. And just begin to rock forward and backwards. Just leaning into the front thigh. Lengthening into the back hip. Front thigh, back hip. Nice. Turn your left foot so it's flat to the floor. Bring your right elbow to your right knee. 
and then reach your left elbow up towards the ceiling and reach your left hand up towards left hand then up towards the ceiling you can stay here with the support on your elbow or bring your left oh, your right hand to the floor and if you're bringing your right hand to the floor let it be wholesome through your whole body rather than a shape that you're trying to get to otherwise keep your elbow on your knee okay and like we did before stretch down into that left leg push down into that right hand lengthen up and feel like you're gonna lift up through the left hand upwards so that's the energy in the pose is up so deeply that the left hand is gonna lift you nice bring both hands to the floor turn your toes towards the right side of your mat and then just bending one knee bending the other knee if you are comfortable coming low to the floor then do use your hands as you lower down just have a sense of really lengthening into strengthening into your thighs your hips however that is for you today nice pause forward fold breath is deep in your belly nice turning towards the front of your mat step back with your downward dog have a bit of a wiggle moving connecting lengthening both knees to the floor step your left foot forward and then begin to travel into that left leg straightening it deepen into the right hip by rocking forward hmm. discover the journey of your legs the feelings, the sensings, the deep of you. Slow the movement down, make the movement smoother. Nice. So bring your left elbow to your left thigh. Turn your right foot so it's standing flat. Pull your right elbow back and extend your right hand up towards the ceiling. Wide through the chest, hmm, opening through your arms. From here, Maybe drop your left hand down so it comes to the floor. Maybe keep your elbow where it is. Main thing is that the energy is going upwards with this right hand. I'm breathing into it. Nice. Turn towards the left side of your mat. Mm, bending. Bending. Finding your version of bending. Nice, super cool. Come into your forward bend. Dropping down. Lengthening through the spine, leaning into your toes a little bit more. Let the weight of your body draw your head a bit closer towards the floor. Nice. Come into your downward dog. And come lie on the floor. So bending your knees, come all the way down. Draw your knees up towards you. Rock from side to side or do whatever version that you do. Nice, both feet to the floor, rock from side to side. Nice, stretch your legs out long, hands to your belly, just come pause, resting where you are. And you just feel that you can land. You know, for some of you, that might be where you bring the soles of your feet together, your knees apart. Legs long. Let's see how that is. How wonderful. So great. Come, come. Um, oh, not you. I was talking to Sinead. She just walked into the room. <laughs> come, come. <laughs> Hi, guys. This Hi, is... Everyone. 
Sinead. Sinead's been here the last few days. Uh, it's been really, really awesome to have her here. Um, and yeah, so next month will be ground. And um, no, <laughs> yeah, yeah. there it is there. And um, yeah, we're, I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, that sense of yeah, connecting into, deepening into the, the practices that ground us in nature, that ground us in our bodies, using the floor. It reminds me a little bit of earth. Um, I think if we hadn't done earth already, I would have called this one earth. Um, so yeah, and you Sinead, you're it's doing been, your yoga. It's been great. Yeah, it's been really nice being here the last few days and coming up with the ground, which is really good. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I'm loving the yoga. I'm really enjoying being back at it. Yeah, yeah, me too. Yeah. But when you said earlier to do a circle with my ribs, it was definitely a figure eight. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a circle. Yeah, so. I know. I find it really interesting how, um, you know, the three month pr uh, break, I actually took quite a big break from yoga. There was loads of other stuff going on. And, um, and now as I move my body, I can feel, oh, there's loads of things that we were doing in the consistency of the practice before that now my body has to reconnect to and relearn, you know? And so I can feel that by the end of this month, I've already moved through a lot of the gnarly stuff. And uh, yeah, so I'm looking to ground and how we stand and express strength in our bodies. And yeah, how do we stabilize using nature as a, as a deep sense of resource? Um, so thanks, Sinead, for all that you do. Well, thank you. Yeah, it's really quite epic how much support I get from Sinead. She texts me in the morning all the stuff that's happening and, um, you know, that, yes, I am live. <laughs> yes, I have sound. Uh, yes, that people are there. <laughs> um, and, yeah, just all the different things, all the emails, all of everything. So, yes, yeah, so we're building a website at the moment. Slowly, we're getting there. And, um, uh, well, actually, we've just started, actually, more so than slowly getting there. And... Um, yeah, so I'm uh, so by Christmas we should have a website and a little bit more clarity around how we how yeah how you find out what we do and how to pay and all that kind of stuff. Um, so great, we will see you. I will see you tomorrow morning, and um, yeah, be well, be awesome, be epic, be great, and uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to ground in the month of October. Uh, slan slan. Bye guys. Bye. Mm -hmm.